Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and today I have a cold so I am working here all by myself at the loft just getting stuff done but I have a couple of things on the desk here that I want to talk about because backup solutions have become extremely important for us here at Frono's Photo because there's so much data that we have whether it's still photos that I have from my archives going back till 2002 or it's all the videos from the past five years that we keep all of the raw footage now it's not raw but it's just the files that come straight out of the camera unedited we store now I'm looking for solutions to keep everything backed up and secure, not just on-site, but also off-site. So I have a couple of things here to talk about. The first thing is, the reason I was making this video in the first place is I just bought this 8 terabyte Seagate backup drive. Now it's a backup drive because it's super duper slow. I believe it's 5600 RPM or something like that. But this is an 8 terabyte backup drive. One drive, 8 terabytes. That is 3.75 cents a gigabyte and you get, because it's 299 bucks. I bought one of these, Adam bought one of these, and Steven bought an internal one as an archive drive inside his computer. This is a great archive solution as long as it doesn't crash. I bought this one. I bought it at B&H because they have a really good deal on it, plus free shipping uh, and, and no tax. So that's where I bought this one. Um, really, for me, it's for extra storage. I'm going to give this to Steven because we have about six or seven terabytes worth of fro videos over the past two and a half years that he's going to load up on here that I can have an extra copy of. And some other things, I got this from Synology. Now they sent me this, they asked if I wanted to try it. I said, sure, but little did I know that they were going to fill this thing with five, six terabyte hard drives. So right now there's 30 terabytes sitting in this NAS backup solution. I don't know much about the Synology other than it's like a computer because it has a quad core processor or something in it. It's a networked attached storage. So it's not really meant to be connected to your computer. It's supposed to be connected to the network so that you can access it from anywhere. I have a lot to learn about this solution. I don't know much about it, but empty, I believe it's 815 bucks. And then you add these drives and this is probably 2000 ish dollars worth of stuff that they sent. And then Western Digital sent this thing out. This is a My Passport Duo, I believe. My Passbook Duo. This has two hard drives that pop in here. There's two four terabyte hard drives. Oh, and this is Thunderbolt. So this acts as an eight terabyte drive, or you could have it be redundant, you know, where you have one four terabyte, the other four terabyte, and it keeps it uh, the same information on both. I am all about backup solutions right now. Whatever I can do to protect the files that I've taken through all the years and all of the footage that we've been creating from raw talks to all the videos that we shoot to the video guides, it needs to be backed up somewhere just in case we need it one day. So something like this, Synology was telling me I could get a second unit like this, keep one here at my loft, have one at say my dad's house that just sits in my old bedroom connected to the network and just has a copy of everything that's on here so it's off site. It's an expensive solution, yes. That's why this at 299 isn't a bad solution for eight terabytes on one, as long as it doesn't fail. Now we don't know what the fail rate's gonna be on this, but this is meant to be your third backup, not your first backup, just an extra backup drive to have. So simply, I made this because I just wanna make you guys aware of what's going on here and why I'm looking for different backup solutions because you can never have enough. Your, your data is so important that if something happens to it, your SOL, all your photos are digitally, they're gone. So we don't, we don't, I don't want that to happen to you and I definitely don't want it to happen to me. So like I said, I personally bought this bad boy and yes, companies do like to send free stuff uh, because they want to get a review and things like that. So Synology sent this because it has five, six terabyte hard drives and Western Digital sent this stuff out. Now I don't owe them anything when they do that. I just honestly review the stuff and say whether we like it or we don't like it and whether we can recommend it to you guys or not. That's how it works. But I bought this one because eight terabytes at 3.75 or whatever cents per gig is certainly not bad at all. So what is your solution? What are you doing to back up your files? You can leave some comments down below. I'm just curious because I got to get Digi Richie up in here to set up a new solution for backing up from the Drobos to the NAS system to whatever the hell it is that we wanted to do because backing up is important. And remember, not just backing up at your one location because if everything burns down, 
well, you're still losing everything. So an off-site backup, something like this that you back up, you have one of these at a friend's house and a one at your house, and then every once in a while you switch it back and copy information onto it, that's a good little solution that you could have. So that's a quick little video, Jared Pullen, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.